Okay, here's the sunrise. It's the best one we've had. I know it's hard for you guys to see, but there it is. It's just, it fights off that belt of, uh, it fights off that belt of uh, cloud that comes along there. Every morning it's there. You can see the separation from there. There's, this, there's, this, there's the sea, the horizon, there's the sun. It's massive. It is beautiful. It's, uh, it's just, it's huge. You know what I mean? It is beautiful, but it is not, uh, oh yeah, she's big actually. <laughs> there she comes. That's the best we've had, friends. There's our breakfast spot. We're on our, uh, pretty much our last day here. This is our last sleep. Wow, that's coming up gorgeous. It only lasts a minute. Wow. <laughs> it is going to be a gorgeous day. See, the whole sky is blue, but there's that little belt every day right there. So it, it's rare that you, you get uh, the sunrise. Anyways, you've seen enough of that. Um, that's the best one I've seen. Hey, I've got a few videos today coming up um, that was from our adventures last day, yesterday, Chichen Itza. Wow, it was incredible. The Mayan, um, the Mayan culture. Pretty incredible stuff, really. I'm really glad we went. It was a 12, actually it was a 13 hour tour. It was tiring, um, but it was worth it. It really was, it was worth it to, to learn about the culture. And to be around those those ruins, it, it, you can't explain it. You know, you see it on TV or you see it here and there, and little pictures and postcards, and uh, you think, oh yeah, neat, really, that's, that's, that's cool, yeah. But it is cool, because the neat thing about this, it was only discovered in 1937, which actually blows my mind. So it's been sitting there, I don't know, since like the 1300s. It's pretty, pretty incredible story. So if you ever get the chance, come. It, it, it really, just for that, was was a special experience for me anyways. So, yeah. I got a few videos coming up today. I hope you enjoy them. They're a little bit to do with uh, trees. Massive massive trees but they're a little bit crazy you know how i get when i get around trees i get all funky and try to do these whipping around and, and stuff like that so there's a couple like that and another guy who was carving a tree or carving a carving of the mayan history on the street for four years 16 hours a day he's been there four years there's 106 pieces in this one carving <laughs> you'll meet him too over and out friends it's our last day tomorrow we wake up Hang around for a little bit and we're gone.